the sorghum we have in here are varieties that are basically tannin free. So we don't have to worry about those negative effects that we see with other varieties from other parts of the world. So in this case, we have this alternative ingredient that it fits well in poultry diets that in birds can grow uh, as expected. Hello and welcome to another episode of Poultry Nutrition Black Belt. I'm your host, Bertina Adekori from Mississippi State University. Today we have a guest, Dr. Mirael Argelis Ramos from Clemson University. Dr. Ramos is Assistant Professor at the University. Uh, welcome to the program. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm very happy to be here today. Uh, so I'm very excited about our conversation to come. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited. And it's, uh, in fact, it's nice to uh, meet you. I mean, talk in person because I've heard a lot of good things about you and your lab and your research work. Uh, welcome again. Um, yes, Dr. Ramos, do you want to talk a little bit about your background and what you do down in Clemson University? So I'm an assistant professor, as you mentioned, and I've been working at Clemson. It's been since 2018 now. Uh, so it's been a while. Uh, so uh, I've been working, focusing everything more on poultry nutrition, mainly working on uh, alternative ingredients. And we had the opportunity to, we have been collaborating very close with the United Sorghum Checkoff Program. So we have been doing a lot of research on performance and health benefits uh, with sorghum in poultry diets. Yeah, thank you. That's exciting. Sorghum in poultry diet, right? Um, I also know you have a lot of experience in industry before. Do you want to talk about it? Your little bit bio. Yeah. So, well, actually, I'm um, just starting with my, my passion about poultry because I have different passions: poultry, nutrition, and research and teaching. So it's all coming together. So I think I'm in the right place right now in my life. Uh, so it's it's been a passion I have since I was a little, you know. Uh, growing up in the countryside with backyard chickens and also my love for animals and, and later having this uh, research experience at the bachelor's uh, level and then master's at the University of Puerto Rico. And after finishing my master, I had some, like you mentioned, some uh, experience in industry working with ADM. Uh, as an animal nutritionist. But then after that, I said like, no, I want to go for a PhD. And then I had the opportunity to go to NC State University uh, to the Department of Poultry Science under, under Dr. John Brake. Uh, and I finished my uh, PhD there. And then after that, I started working with Novus International for a few years. And then it's when my uh, academia experience started after that. Yeah, thank you. That's a very cool experience. And that, that's kind of explain how did you end up with working poultry nutrition? Are there anything that you want to talk about more than how did you really end up with nutrition side of things? Well, I mean, I've always been uh, in the human side. I've always been very careful about nutrition. I'll be always very passionate about that. So all the knowledge I have uh, from poultry and you know, we took classes about nutrition and there's a lot of concepts that actually also apply to our uh, health, etc. So I applied this with me, my family, but also I like to apply that on uh, what is the poultry industry. So it is definitely all this whole interest about research, but also about nutrition concepts and how it can benefit us and can benefit the poultry industry. Yeah, I mean, that explains and that's kind of something like a passion coming so much from because you are doing that nutrition side of things in human and then you're trying to see how we can grow chicken better with the different nutrition aspect. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Um, switching a gear a little bit about in our conversation about sorghum now, we're going to go talk about the checkup program and not necessarily the checkup program, but what you especially do in your lab. Um, why is the sorghum relevant for the U.S. and the global poultry industry? Can you talk about it? Yeah, definitely. Sorghum is an excellent source of energy. 
it also a good source of uh, amino acids. So uh, we already know corn. Corn is, you know, the main cereal grain that we use in poultry diets, but it's also important to have different alternatives uh, because you never know what can happen to the markets, imports, export, and all these dynamics. So it is important to have different alternatives. So in this case, sorghum is definitely a good feed. Uh, in the case of sorghum, we have to be careful about when we talk about sorghum produced and grow in the U.S. and other parts of the world. Uh, we know there is some stigma about sorghum in other parts because we have varieties of sorghum with high content of condensed tannins. That is not the case for the sorghum that is cultivated here in the U.S. The, um, the sorghum we have in here are varieties that are basically tannin free. So we don't have to worry about those negative effects that we see with other varieties from other parts of the world. So in this case, we have this alternative ingredient that it fits well in poultry diets that in birds can grow uh, as expected. Well, thank you. I think that's kind of explains because that's something like, you know, when we talk to this sorghum feeding and it depends on which customers you are talking about, what would which what part of the world you're talking about, because then I think that kind of explains because of having tannin-free and um, not tannin-free in U.S. sorghum. So, uh, so, so do you think it's due to the breeding side of saying that they have, this is a new cultivar, let's say, a cultivar that doesn't have, they breed against the tannin, for example, and that's how we see in the United States sorghum that we can consume, right, for animals? That is correct. As you mentioned, uh, you will have different, different cultivars. And of course, having this high condensed tannin sorghum has their use because they they call it like bird proof kind of grain because birds don't like the stringency of the tannins that are present in those type of varieties. So it has their use because it protects the plant from birds. But if you want to feed them to poultry, then you have to take out those components. So in that case, you have to develop. It's This developing have come from decades of a lot of research and selection. Uh, and one important thing to mention that the selection, it's basically natural selection. So uh, not natural selection, but it is just like classic selection. It's not like GMO type like we do with uh, corn that we input uh, genes from other uh, organisms. So... In other words, sorghum is non-GMO kind of um, crop here in the U.S. Yeah, right, right. Thanks for that. And that also kind of explains um, the sorghum is safe for the broilers. I mean, I'm, I'm, there's always an inclusion level. I mean, I'm sure your lab has looked into some, like up to what, do, do you have any information that you can share? Well, when we were doing uh, research with the sorghum check checkoff, we wanted to go to the extreme. And we said like, okay, if we want to see if there is any negative effects from using the sorghum, we will just take out all the corn and put like a sorghum based diet, just with soybean meal and then the typical ingredients. And uh, what we learned with the years and different performance trials we have perform uh, conducted is that as long as you formulate the diet correctly, you have the right level of energy, good balance of amino acids, and of course, taking care of your vitamins and minerals, et cetera. Right. There is no difference in performance. So it is totally safe to replace uh, all the corn for sorghum and have a sorghum soybean meal based diet if you are using the sorghum we have here in the U.S. I cannot tell about other uh, sorghum varieties uh, cultivated in other parts of the world. So that's what we have observed so far. With science-led solutions that are sustainable, proven, and effective, BASF helps you tackle the challenges of poultry nutrition. We offer high-quality feed ingredients that enable a more sustainable production and help you achieve your animal performance targets. We call it the science of sustainable feed that succeeds. That's amazing. And we're talking about, what, 60 to 70% of replacement of our diet? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, thank you. And thank you. I appreciate how you have, what work you have done, down, I mean, at Clemson University with the checkout program. I think this is going to be a lot of valuable information for the industry, uh, poultry industry, especially North America side, since the sorghum type is different. 
That's great. Um, no, I think we're kind of at the, um, I know it's only nine minutes episode. I wish we can talk, talk more. Maybe in the future episode, we're going to talk about what kind of research actually you're doing, if you can share those. And we have to do a different time for that. Um, at the very end, um, do you want to tell something about anything exciting going on in your lab or? Yes, uh, sure. So now we are trying to focus, taking because we know it is safe, it is good for performance in broilers. Now we are trying to uh, focus on additional benefits, for example, how sorghum can help on gut health in poultry. So now we're focusing on that area. Awesome. Thank you so much. So we had Dr. Muriel Argus uh, Ramos from Clemson University today. And thank you, Dr. Ramos, for being here. And we thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, your conversation today about and learning about sorghum in the U.S. Thank you. No, thank you. And it's been a pleasure.